World-beating diving test facilities have been opened today in Gosport. The Diving and Hyperbaric Test Centre uses science to try and make diving for military personnel from all three services as safe as possible. For the first time, the facilities are all under one roof. And as Tim Cooper reports, they'll also be available to the commercial sector. In a 10-foot square tank, this diver is helping the scientists in Hasler understand how noise can affect a diver's safety. It's one of a number of leading edge technologies at this new centre, which is run by contractor Kinetic on behalf of the MOD. Most of these facilities have been in the Gosport area for many years, but on different sites. This is the first time they're all under one roof, and that has a lot of benefits, but not least the fact that scientists working in different areas can communicate really easily. And that's how breakthroughs are made. This machine can test breathing apparatus in lab conditions, helping ensure that the kit used by all military divers from Afghanistan to the South Atlantic is as safe as possible. Now we can draw on the experience and manpower from the, from the uh, other, other people on the site, um, other expertise, we can, we can expand the engineering uh, work that we do. In this tank, salt water is taken to minus two centigrade. The dummy is moved to different angles, simulating a diver moving through the water. It's hooked up to machines which monitor the stresses placed on the body while surfacing. Elsewhere, how the body copes with sudden changes in pressure, like if you had to escape from a submarine, can be tested in this machine. It's leading towards better understanding of how to avoid the bends or decompression sickness. This site is the historic home of military diving and has some of the largest indoor testing tanks in the UK, which are used to put ship and submarine designs through their paces using scale models. The new complex was officially opened today by Commodore Henry Parker. As our research effort has become uh, less wealthy, shall we say, uh, we need to concentrate all our facilities in one place. Um, this place has a fantastic history for naval architecture and ship design, uh, and so bringing that entire, if you like, wet research to one place um, is, is going to be a good thing in the long run. Although primarily for military work, for the first time the commercial sector will be able to pay to use these facilities. An effective way of making defence more self-sustainable in difficult economic times. There is a, a definite push to try and get commercial work in there. Because if we get the commercial work in, then that adds value to the Ministry of Defence uh, as well. Diving, whether in person or in a submersible, has the potential to be incredibly dangerous. This centre is striving to make it as safe as it can be for our military divers and submariners, while understanding how best to survive if something does go wrong. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Hasler.